Welcome to Yen's Yoga. Today, practice with this yoga flow, especially for people suffer epilepsy, asthma, and immunity. When you're ready, we're gonna do sun salutations. Inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, both legs to the back of the mat. With control, drop your knees, your chest, and your chin. Inhale, roll up. Elbow facing the back of your mat. Exhale, push the floor away. Adomukha Svanasana. Next, inhale, right leg to the sky, stretching your left hamstring. Exhale, bring your legs, right leg in between your hands. Inhale, raise your torso and arms to the sky. Left leg is lengthened. Pull your knee up and actively arching your left feet. Right knees are bent 90 degree as much as possible. On your next exhalation, twisting to the right. Parivirta Ashta Chandrasana. This is a yoga therapy for asthma, immunity, and epilepsy. Slow breath to remain in balance. With me your arms, we're gonna transition to Virabhadrasana 2. Pivot your left feet 90 degree to the side of your mat as you continue to bend your right knees. Look at your front hand and back hand, make sure they are in a straight line. A best close to toning all your body. Pivot your left feet 45 degree as you're squatting down into Skandasana. A great yoga pose for a flat feet, stretching your inner thigh of the right, hum, right armstrings, your muscles, your hamstrings, and your groin. Couple more breath here. Inhale, twisting to the back of your mat. Straight to the other side, left leg to the sky, bend your right left knee, stretching your right hamstring, exhale left leg in between your hands, inhale rise up, Ashta Chandrasana. This time left knee is bent 90 degree facing the front, left leg are extended, pull your knee cups with active arching of your right feet. Exhale, twist to the left. With every exhalation, you're gonna twisting more to the left. Remember, slow breath to remain in balance. You are doing very well. On our next breath, we move your arms and we're gonna arrive in Vira Padrasana 2. Keep your left leg bent. Right leg is straight with your right feet 90 degree to the side of the mat. Inhale and exhale. Next breath, right feet 45 degree as you sit down in Skandasana. Left knee cup is pulled up, flexing your left feet. If you can't squat down, it's alright. Stay where you are. You are doing it very well. Slowly, we're gonna facing at the front of our mat. And we're gonna do a big filling asana. Stay here for 10 breaths. A great pose to boost the energy in the body. Engage your core as you keep your whole body parallel to the mat. When you're ready, Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, prepare. We're gonna transition to Bhujang Asana. Both feet is tanti. Gently touching on the floor. In deep inhale, we're gonna raise our upper torso. 
We're gonna do it one more time. This time we bend both knees. Both arms gonna grab our ankle as we rise up. Bujang Asana. Deep inhale for an intense back bend. This is a great pose for anxiety and sciatica. When you have enough, gently lower yourself down and place your face to the side. Shake your bumps to release any tensions on your lower back. Next inhale, Adomukha Svanasana. Pedal your feet to stretch, stretch the hamstring and also strengthen our spine. Keep pedaling. Bend one knee and straighten the other. Next time, we're gonna prepare for Ustrasana Vinyasa. Tuck both heels, right hand on right heel. When we exhale, we're gonna sweep our hand across, left hand on left heel, and arch your back. In exhale, sweeping your hands, right hand to right heel, and inhale. Exhale, sweeping your hand across the left, left hand on left heel. The next time, exhale, sweeping across, right hand on right heel. And this time, we're gonna stay here in Ustrasana. Both hips are internally rotate, using both hands to push the heel away as you bring your hips forward. With every deep inhale, you're gonna push your hip forward and enjoy this back bend. Gently bring yourself all the way down, counter pose in Balasana. We're gonna take a pause to regulate your breath, calming your nervous system. And this is a time for you to tap in to your intentions for today's practice. You're gonna stay here for a few more breaths. Inhale and exhale. With control, you're gonna straighten your left, he left leg in front of you. Bend your right knee, exhale, fold forward. Right knees are bent and externally rotate. Left leg are actively arching your left feet. Pull your kneecaps. With every exhale, you're gonna fold forward. A perfect pose to reduce sciatica by increase the blood flow to the nerve. Thus, it will reduce the pain at your lower back and also reduce the pain on your outer region of your leg. Swapping side, left knee bend, right leg are straight. Flexing your right feet, pull your kneecaps, exhale, fold forward. A very effective pose to reduce any menstrual related symptoms. You can stay here longer if you wish. Couple more
gently bring your awareness to your body. Move your fingers, your toes. Bring yourself to the side of your mat and meet me in Sukhasana. No rush. On your next inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, bow forward. Subscribe, like and comment if you enjoy the practice. See you on the next video. Thank you everyone. You're doing so good today. I hope Namaste. you have a good night's sleep. Namaste.